Guess who's back? Roll that intro. Hey guys, it is Cassandra and I am back. Uh, my daughter went and graduated high school and went to college, so now I have time to record videos for you. Yay! So, as you can see, I hate the stupid reflection in my glasses because I got a new light, but that's okay. It's a new setup. It's a new, it's, it's something new for 2020 since everything else is crap. We got some not crappy stuff. Anyway, what I'm going to do, we're going to change the channel around a little bit so that it's going to be mostly reviews now, like pretty much of anything, movies, music, food, makeup. If you want it reviewed, leave me a comment and I will see if I can review it. I have a lot of opinions. So today what we're going to start out with is this Olipop, Olipop, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't think it tells you anywhere how to pronounce it. Anyway, it is these sparkling tonic sodas that are supposedly better for you. They support digestive health. It tells you right there on the can. Um, so I have, what, one, two, three, four, five different flavors. We're going to give them some tries. Um, let's see. We're going to start with the one that I think that I like the least. First off, we have this classic root beer. I don't know why I do this. It's not good. Like, it's not. Yeah. Okay. Um, so root beer is like my least favorite soda flavor of all time. I hate, I hate root beer. Not that I hate soda. I love Coke. Hate root beer. Um, and this is non-caffeinated. All of these sodas are non-caffeinated. The only one that has caffeine is the cola one. And we'll talk about that when we get there. So this has some prebiotics, botanicals, plant fiber, plant powdered, um, two grams of sugar. So it supposedly has less sugar than everything else. And the sugar they are using is stevia. Stevia? Stevia? I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't usually like that. I don't know. Let's give it a... Oh, I can't pop it. There we go. give it a try. Um, I mean, it tastes like watered down root beer, actually. Um, mm. I mean, I normally don't like root beer flavor, but I don't like it because it's so strongly like the sassafras root flavor. Um, but this is, uh, mm. no, no, no. I will say my husband had tried one of these last night and he usually really likes root beer, but he didn't like the um, stevia flavoring in it. He said it gave him a bad aftertaste, which I don't know. I only taste root beer. That's all I taste, but it tastes watered down root beer. It doesn't taste like solid, like A and W root beer. Next, let us go with the next one that I think I'm not going to like is this ginger lemon. Um, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I don't think I'm not, not going to like it. Um, but of the five of them, this is the next one that I'm least excited about. Uh, ginger juice, sweet mulling spices, and a pop of crisp lemon. So, um, like, I am okay with, like, ginger ale and everything like everybody else I drink it when I'm sick you know ginger's got that like cure your sore tummy thing going on so uh oh this has pink rock salt in it hmm. all right let's give this a pop and see it pops everywhere it gets all over my thumb so sorry, you're going to see me licking my thumb a whole lot because I have soda all over my thumb. All right, ginger lemon. Ooh, no. Oh, that, that one's worse than the, lem than the other one. Ooh, no. Uh, let's see, try to put some words to this. 
So, <laughs> I don't even know if I can talk. Um, it doesn't have the like gingery flavor that like ginger ale has or anything like that, but it's not quite lemony enough to give you a Sprite kind of flavor. It tastes a bit like, oh, I wouldn't even say it's like a watered down ginger ale. It feels like, I don't know, it just feels bad. Um, they're, they're, yeah, they don't mix very well with that. I don't know if it's the stevia. I'm, I'm just gonna say stevia. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it from now on, not stevia, stevia. If it's the stevia or if it's something else in there, because it does say there's like cinnamon and some other spices. And I feel like that just doesn't mix with the lemon flavor very well. Uh, if it was, uh, I think if it was ginger and maybe some other spices in there you could come up with like kind of a i don't know like a, a christmasy kind of i don't know taste i don't I, it just no just no i don't like it next we're going to go with this one because i'm not sure about this either this is strawberry vanilla um, a sparkling tonic still. Uh, let's see. This has a classic, a ta an, our take on a classic cream soda blend. Uh, blends real strawberry juice with vanilla bean and a touch of lemon for an indulgence that somehow clocks in at only three grams of sugar. So, I mean, also, maybe that is the other thing. Is that these don't have, like, sugar in them? And, like, I, don't, I like sugar. I'm not, I'm not that type that's going to be like, no sugar. I am all the sugar but like I feel like this would be a good combination like I feel like what I want is this to be like a creamsicle but with strawberries like strawberries and cream if you've ever had they used to make like a creamsicle thing with strawberries at one point um who makes those Jello, maybe? I don't know. One of those like ice cream bar people used to make a strawberry version of creamsicles and they were delicious. And that is what I hope that this tastes like. I'm not feeling very. It is, okay. I feel like the kombucha girl. <laughs> um, it is, it needs more strawberry. That's, that's it. Um, you can taste the vanilla, very strong. There's a very strong vanilla flavor. Um, it needs, um, I think a little more strawberry to go with it to offset that, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. The other two were really bad. This one is not nearly as bad. Um, not great still like not not my favorite i mean none of them are my favorite i haven't gotten to a favorite yet um but it would be okay it's not it, it would be fine it would it would yeah it's fine not great now there's a cherry vanilla one which uh oh this is an interesting description on here this one says we pinpointed the cherry pie flavor we were craving with a careful combination of tart Morello cherries and the sweet tang of Rainier cherries, then rounded things out with the soft, sumptuous taste of vanilla bean. So this might, I don't know, this might be better than the strawberry one. Like, I feel like maybe, maybe, I don't know. Let's. Way. I always look like I'm afraid of things. Like, I know what's going to happen. I've opened soda before. <laughs> All right. Cherry vanilla. No. You know what? I, I think it is the sugar on these that is missing. Oh. 
because that one does it tastes more like I can't taste the vanilla in the cherry vanilla I can definitely taste it in the strawberry I can't taste it in the cherry all I taste are um, like sour cherries which is fine like sour cherry is a flavor it's a thing I'm not against sour cherries I prefer sweet cherries because I like sweet things I'm not but um yeah I feel like that's not what you're looking for when you're in a soda you're not looking for sour cherries you don't want to drink cherry pie that is that kind of what that tastes like though I will say that like I am not a big fan of pie don't don't come at me I don't like usually the fillings I'm fine with crusts bring me all of your pie crusts um, but I don't like fruit like filling that's in that like jelly stuff that everything is and that is what that tastes like um, it's no no thank you finally this is the one that I'm looking forward to the best vintage cola now this is the only one that is caffeine ca caffeine caffeinated um, it has 50 milligrams of natural caffeine from green tea, which um, this is a 12 ounce. I had pulled up on the website. I wanted to compare it to my favorite, the Coca-Cola. And a 12 ounce can of Coke has, where's the caffeine content on this? Um, 34 milligrams in the 12 ounce can so this has more caffeine in it than a can of coke uh which is a little crazy to me like i i drink a lot of coke so i can't imagine being more caffeinated than than coke all right so this Vanilla bean, original cola flavor, green tea caffeine, apple juice and lime juice. I don't know about this. All right. Last one. Now I will say that if this is really good, I have no problem replacing Coca-Cola with it. But, you know, if this isn't going to be as tasty as Coke. Sorry, Oli Pop. All right. Oh, oh. Oh, no. I don't know what that taste is. Kind of makes me want to throw up a little bit. Excuse me. Um no no that's I, mm, I can't even talk I wish I had brought like a water with me so I could wash these out of my mouth um no just it doesn't taste good I, I don't even have a description for it um like it tastes worse than diet soda like I don't like diet soda um and to me oops, sorry I hit my microphone to me that tastes worse than like a Diet Coke or any of those. Um, that's worse than Pepsi and I really don't like Pepsi. Um, I don't know what flavor that is that's screwing it all up. Like I love vanilla Coke so and I love vanilla flavoring so it's not the vanilla in there. Maybe it's that there's a lemon juice and a lime juice in there that I don't know what the purpose of those was and like they're all sufficiently chilled it says to drink these refrigerated these have been in my refrigerator for over 24 hours I think they've actually been in there for 48 hours so they're sufficiently chilled they're not warm that's not a factor in them I don't know that was was pretty bad I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry um so yeah, those are the five flavors I have. They do have an orange crush flavor that um, was not in their variety pack. I think it's pretty new. So I don't have that to try. 
Um, but judging by these five, I don't know that it would be any better. So unfortunately, I do have a couple more cans of these left that I just might end up throwing away. Like I'm going to have my husband try them too to see if he likes them. But it's just the two of us in the house now. So if he doesn't like it, in the trash it goes. Uh, I'm sorry, Oldie Pop. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like them. I don't have a reason. They just, there's something in them. I'm going to blame the, the stevia. Like if it was cane sugar, I feel like it would be better. Cane sugar makes things tasty. I do like the, um, the Coke with the cane sugar. Uh, I've had another, um, there's a regional soda that also uses cane sugar that, um, maybe I'll talk about them. I'll bring some of their flavors on, uh, that that's tasty. I love them. So I think that's what it is. It's the stevia. Um, if they switch to cane sugar, it would be better. Uh, these are gross. Unfortunately, I can't recommend them. Uh, so that is all I have for you today. Um, let me know down in the comments if you have tried this only pop. Do you like it? Have you tried any of them? Have you tried the orange crush? Like I'm kind of interested, but not that much after all of these. Um, let me know. Let me know if you've tried them. Leave me those comments. Make sure you subscribe so you can see all of the new content that's going to be coming. Uh, I have a couple more sodas on the line. I have some snacks coming. There's, gonna, there's a movie that's coming out on Netflix shortly that I will definitely be talking about and that might end up being a really long video. We'll see. Um, I think that is everything. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all of that information is down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.